happy oldies folks and welcome back to our channel. My name's Rob and this is El Berlin. Unbelievable. You're a bit far away today. You've got we are, we are, I have packed up and put the table away. Yeah, we've got, got to say it fast when we put the camera on. So Oops, whoever good. gets it in first. Yeah, so anyway, he's still the old man. Doesn't matter if he says it first or second. I'm getting there, aren't I? You are. Oh, what a difference again in the weather. Yeah, we're still at Canuck. We're moving off today. We, uh, we weren't going back. We were going to go on to somewhere else today, weren't we? And go back Tuesday. But, but unfortunately, our little princess, our little granddaughter, isn't very well. So no. we want to pop back and see her. She, uh, she had a temperature of 40 degrees last night. So they took her to A&E. &A. Uh, viral infection, but again, she's still not well this morning. Very lethargic, just wants to sleep. So yeah, she's not well at all, bless her. It's a nightmare isn't it, when little kids go wrong. And that's what the doctors always say, isn't it? It's viral. That's all they can say, isn't it? Yeah, well, they never know, do they? So they cover the backs by saying it's viral. Anyway, yes, so we're going back today. All I've got to do now is over up in a minute. Yes. Uh, what's our plans for next week? Haven't made any. I just can't find anywhere at the moment. We don't really want to go on grass. I know we're on grass this week, but we are only on a smidgen of grass, I think. Well, I hope, I hope we can get off. <laughs> yeah, that's the... Uh, it has been raining since about four yeah. o'clock this morning, so... Is it ever going to stop raining, people? Yeah, it's supposed to be dried up now, and... Uh... We're going back to where uh, where we're going to go next week. It's so hard to find somewhere to go, in. Yeah, I've gone through the rallies, well, briefly. I haven't really find, found anything. Um, sites we just don't want to do, do we? Because they're so expensive. I don't know, I want to go down the coast. I like it down the coast. I must have sea legs, you know. <sighs> do like the coast, but what's the point when the weather's like this? You don't know it's going to be like this next week, do you? Oh, I've checked the weather and it's not looking good again. Well, anyway, we're, we're getting closer to decent weather, aren't yeah, we? Back so? to Western Supermare or something. Have a walk across the beach hand in hand. Who with? I'm not going. I don't so, know. I don't know where we'll end up, folks. To be honest, no. we always wing it every week. Yes, it's uh, not very often we do plan anything. No. So yeah, we're going to find somewhere. Had a great weekend with everybody. It's been uh, a weekend full of laughter, which is great. That's what it's all about, isn't it? it is. Having a good laugh, a good blast, plenty of food down you, get hammered, yeah, have have, a snog. We have eaten well as well, haven't we, this weekend? It makes a change, isn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what we had last night. One of my favourite, best cooked dinner I've ever had. It was actually really tasty. Tesco's own cooked roast beef, beef, roast beef. Roast beef dinner. We just, we Not were, a lot in there, but it was nice. We were walking around Tesco's, as we do, you know, for a change. Um, couldn't decide what we wanted, could we? And then you said, what about two of these? Oh, don't know. But we had them last night. And Man, were... the beef was so nice. I wish I could cook beef that tender. I wish you could cook like discos. I'm just going to give him a ready meal every day. <laughs> no point spending hours slaving over a hot stove <sighs> when he enjoys a microwave ready meal like he does. No, but to be honest, We've only just started doing this, getting these ready meals, because it's so easy, especially when you've got friends with you, you know, because you don't want to spend all your time in the van cooking, do you? No. Well, I don't, anyway. It was, yeah, three three minutes, let it stand, three and a half minutes, so six and a half minutes, seven, seven and a half minutes, you've got a meal. How much was it? I don't know, I can't remember. Three or four quid, was it? Something don't know. Like, I don't know. Didn't look at the price. It's like airplane food, but better, and a bit bigger. Yeah, it, was, it filled the gap, didn't it? Take a lot to fill your gap. Yeah, you're going to crack on with the Uber. Yes, uh, so one, one of the reasons I was doing this is so many people ask us like what we use, different things we use in the van, and one thing is, can you recommend a Hoover for our van? Best slippers in the world. It's only took me, what, 30 odd years to get into some boot slippers. And, and now you won't have anything else. Yeah, and I'll tell you why I wear boot slippers in here. Because there's some drafts coming from this cab. You know, you're sitting on these captain chairs. There is. So get some of these folks. About six quid, aren't they? I don't know, Robert. Not very much anyway. Eight pound, I think they were from Matalan. And they really suit me, look. As long as you're warm, that's all that counts. And the best thing I've wore this weekend is my changing robe. It's been amazing. Don't put mine on. Oh, I know. You tried it on, didn't you, the other day again? And 
Yeah. You don't feel the cold like I do. I was sat in here last night with my dressing gown on and I was still froze. And it's, and it's 20, 22 degrees in here, she's still cold. Yeah, oh, excuse me, I was still yawning from the last vlog. Yes, as I was saying, people ask us what we use and I just thought I'd mention the hoover that we use because I got in touch with Altenic and he's given us a discount. So I thought I'll mention it again, yeah. pass on the discount to you and... Uh, yeah, it's not a review, I'm just going to show you what it is. Yeah, we, yeah. We, it's a good, yeah. good vacuum, good little vacuum. It's perfect for a motor home caravan. Perfect. Yes. Because <clears throat> it's small, you know. Very lightweight. Bit, bit like a... Easy to charge. Oh, then you wrap it around. We only charge it up about once every three weeks, you know. Well, it's only a small area, I suppose. It'd be different if it was in a house, obviously. Mind you, I won't buy one for an house. Just for the air. Perfect. Oh, I'll get the camera. Hang on. Ah. This is a rare moment, people. You will see Lynn with a hoover in her hands. Because I do everything. And they know that's a fib, don't they? Yeah, so that's it. It's the Altenic V12. Absolutely awesome. It's got green light. Right, I'm just, I'm just going to quickly go through it. When you yeah. turn it on... Please quickly go for it. Yeah, when you turn it on, look. You've got a screen there. You turn the power up. And then it tells you how long it's going to run for. You've also got green light technology, which I love. So when it's dark, you can see the bits. There you go. So, yeah, I will... Uh... Stand that hoover up by you. Step on the step. Oh, I thought the hoover was taller than you. Was Shut thought. up, Robert. Oh, and you get the tool with it as well, which yeah. we use a lot, don't we, for going around the edges. Yeah, it's a great thing for the motor uh, and caravans and whatever. It yeah. really is. Yep, so uh, I'll crack on with the vacuuming while you're sat there doing nothing. I've been out, folks, this morning. It's thrown it down the rain. I've took the dogs out. I've come back, dried the dogs off, got them in here. I've done the, awesome, uh, the toilet, done that. What else have I done? Took the bin. Took the bin. Got the electric in. Got the electric cable in. Dried that off. Got the outside mat in. Put it in the shower because it's soaking wet. And you have just been trying to make yourself look pretty. I've well, I'm vacuuming now. I've washed up, tidied round, packed the van up for everything to take back. And that's not a two minute job. Give us and a cleaned. And cleaned all the bathroom. Give us and a slug. The... No. Why? Unbelievable. Right, turn it off so I can vacuum. Your turn to get wet. Yeah, great, isn't it? Somebody's just actually pulled it, somebody's actually pulling it now. Yeah. Oh no, they're going in the bottom. Yes, it is. Come on, off your trot. Unbelievable. Do, yep. I leave, do I leave it open for him or what? No, I've just gone, uh, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Because obviously they give you a code to get in here, so... Fantastic! She's not going to be very happy, folks. She doesn't like getting her hair wet. Actually, she doesn't like getting wet at all. <laughs> I'll do wind her up. Come on. in the van did get a bit wet but hey ho uh, I forgot to mention the the price of the hoover the 16 pound off with a hour he's given me a code again so the 16 pound off so that brings it down to 129.99 uh, I will put the link and everything in the description um, talking about bargains we wanted some Isabella chairs and you know how tight Robert is there's no way I'm gonna pay I think they were hundred and £130 I think so, it's like £130 each. I ain't paying that. So I went on to Marketplace and I bought two for £115. The only problem is I bought them unseen 
because as you know our daughter lives in Shrewsbury so I said any chance Jess she could go and get them well she sent um, her husband to go because she was cooking yesterday and busy so he's gone down they're in bags he never even opened the bags so we're going to go and pick them up either later today or well, it's going to have to be later today because she's at work every other day so we'll show you them, but yeah, if, if they are in good condition, that's a bargain. So Absolute bargain if they are good. Yeah, um, it's worth looking on uh, Facebook Marketplace for things. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, because we always look on there, you know. We do you know, now. Because you can uh, drop on some uh, really good things, you know, even if you don't want anything. <laughs> yeah, it does give you, like, um, random things you might want to look at. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Somebody just fell off here, so I'm not sure we did. Nothing can fall off. Everything's done right, I packed it. Yeah, so when we get our chairs, folks, we will, we will show, show you. you. Yes. And I guarantee mine is full of holes. Well, mine won't be, because if there is one that's full of holes, it's yours. Excellent. Yeah, who goes and picks something up without actually getting them out and having a good look at them? Kids, isn't it? Well, he's not yeah. a kid. No. Nearly 40, isn't he? Nearly 40, yeah, he's not a kid. But yeah, we'll uh, hopefully we'll they will be the bargain that I think they are. So we'll let you know. Well, we just got to the back to the static, folks. The sun is out, shining, beautiful, and you can certainly see the season has started. A few vans there, and loads over there. Everybody enjoying the start of the season. There you go, folks. That's how much rain we've had. There's one being towed off already. Mind you, to be honest, by the state of the field, it looks like loads have been tied off. But they'll get him off, no problem. Okay, folks, we have just come back from Shrewsbury to pick our chairs up from our daughters, which she collected from me from Wem, which is about 12 miles outside Shrewsbury. Yeah, we when we looked at it, it said on Marketplace, she said Shrewsbury. So I said, yeah, my daughter will come and pick them up. It was Wem. But yes, they went to pick them up. I can hear some video here. They haven't even looked at it, at them. No. So but, we haven't opened the bag. But on a good, uh, you know, a good sign is they are in the original bag. Yeah, but what? We, are, I promise you, we haven't opened the bag yet. Okay. So I don't know what they're going to, what condition they're going to be in. I don't know if they're going to be clean. I'm just keeping everything cross. Yes, yeah, so that looks as good as you to me. So far, so good. Hang on, let me help you. There you go, look at that. Now, what? I don't know. Oh. Absolutely perfect. They haven't got the feet on, but that doesn't matter. I think, do you do... They've got the feet on. It's no, because you've got the, the sun lounger thing that clips on, and you can buy those separately. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Perfect. My brand new, folks. Look at that. Half price. £115 for the two. I knocked her down, she wanted £125. I offered £110, and, and we agreed on £115. So now, I've got a comfy chair. That's good, isn't it? We've done well there. Well, this is the first one. We need to check the second one. Okay. Move that one there. So there you go, that one is as good as new. So let's have a look at the second one. Yeah, it's got all four feet in because on, on I know Gary and Jill there's one of theirs had split, hadn't it? So yeah. one of that was one of the things I was looking for. It just goes to show though you can pick a bargain up, doesn't you it? Can. I mean we've I forgot how I did this now. Like that. Oh, yeah, there's marks on that, on the headdress. I'm sure that'll wipe off. They actually... You can wash them, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put take that one off, put it in the washing machine. Yeah. Because as you can see, there's a stain there. I mean, to be honest, second hand, you've got to expect a, a mark or two, but these are like brand new, to be honest. They really are, aren't they? Yeah, they're... Uh... Yeah, there's a mark there, which I'll that'll wipe off. Yeah. But apart from that, I think perfect. I don't know if you can actually take the covers off, but I'm not going to because no, I'm just going to no. sponge that off. There's and no need that. to, is it? <sighs> perfect. Perfect. There you go, folks. Two for the price of one. 
as good as new with yeah. the original bag. I've just uh, I've just sponged the wipe the mark off and it's come off. It was fine. <sighs> if it hadn't done it, I would have got the stain out somehow. But yeah, absolutely perfect. So Mark. our tip of the day What's is it? Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. It's worth a look. So it's been a long day, folks. <sighs> so we'll have we'll have a glass or two, and then we'll probably pick you up in the morning. Cheers, everybody. Cheers and happy holidays. Happy bloody holidays. You can't whack it. And I'm not sitting here all night. I don't get off me, you get. Are they good? And this is how close we'll be sitting by it's each not. other. It's only because I can't get them any further away. <sighs> and they'll be fine. Very happy. All I mean is my hand giving me knots in. I'm made by the beach. I mean, Isabella's one of the best makes, isn't it? Apparently. We've always wanted an Isabella one, but I wouldn't pay the money for brand new ones. So, yeah. We nearly did. And then uh, one of our friends had have a look on Marketplace, found these. She'd literally just listed them, though, hadn't she? Yeah. Happy with that. Happy! Right, it's the next day, and I'm just preparing dinner. We've got steak and mushrooms and everything. And my neighbour, our neighbour, uh, a very keen fisherman has caught three trout today. One of them was about that big. But yeah, he's uh, kindly given me one. Unfortunately, Robert won't eat trout. So... I don't like trout. So yeah, I'll uh, keep that for me. I'll put it in the freezer for now. It's very nice of him. Yes, very good neighbours we've got. Right, folks, I've just come back from work. My little angel here is cooking my tea. I'm filming. The smells, the aromas coming from down the street are amazing. You on a boat? I haven't cooked yet. Oh. <laughs> I did make a loaf of bread earlier, though. That looks nice. Is it hard? It smells delicious. Is it heavy? No, it's perfect. So, yeah, I am recording my video for Sunday. So, all of you people that watch my cooking vlog, there will be one out this week. Bad bloody time. I know. Yeah. Look at the whole set up, look at the little studio. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're bomb hungry. I know, me too. That bread I just showed you, what Lynn made earlier. Absolutely gorgeous. Whole meal, yeah, isn't it? Whole meal, yeah, it's maybe. Um, whole meal flour and normal and all purpose flour. But yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> We've just eaten. Uh, the food that I've cooked for Sunday and I thought I've got to try this I wanted to cut it and have a good look at it but yeah and don't miss Lynn's uh, cooking video on Sunday you just had seconds haven't you absolutely honestly beautiful you haven't got your uses my yeah, little angel but this bread I'm so impressed so Vivian I've tried another one loving it in that uh, cooker mm, in the Dutch oven yes Vivian Banks Thank you for the recipe. No, she didn't send me this one. This was actually another one, but yes, that is homemade so bread. good. But it's so fattening. I yeah, have well. some more. A bit late, isn't it? <laughs> well, folks, it's been a busy couple of days. It's been a busy old time for Robin and on tour. Why? What you been doing? Working. That's what I've been doing. Earning some pennies to keep you in luxury. Luxury. Yeah. I don't want luxury. I just want to be able to just carry on doing what we're doing. Yeah. Pay the bills. Go away when we want. That's all we're bothered about. Yes. The same as most people, I suppose. I was just thinking that meal that I'm cooking. Will you sit a bit closer? Oh, I'm all right, thank you. Oh, Jill, I forgot the remote. It's in the motorhome. <sighs> just got this one. Um. You can't whack out and laugh, people. Yeah. It's amazing. That, that meal's probably cost a quarter. The yes. meal that you'll see on Sunday has cost a quarter for the two of us than it would cost you to buy at your local takeaway. I'm not telling you which yeah. one. It is nice to have a takeaway now and again, though, isn't it? It's nice, because I haven't got to cook. But I like going away with friends and them doing the cooking. It doesn't happen very often, does it? No. No. Oh, our poor little granddaughter. She's got the chicken pox. 
That's yes. what was the matter with her. I think I'm coming down with it as well. We went to see her on... I've got a rash all over me, but... That's just lack of soap and water. We went to see her on Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. <clears throat> and our other, our eldest grandson was there because our eldest son's stopping with them. Little Jensen, if you look back on previous vlogs, he's been in them. And Jensen had come up with some spots. Yes. But spots. apparently that's nothing. Uh, Ali was still really... She just wasn't a Lethargic. Self. Yeah, lethargic and grumpy. Is that what I say? Lethargic. E even grumpy. Lethargic. Even grumpier than usual <clears throat> with you. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Emma's messaged me today and she said she's got the chicken pox. Bless her. So, yeah, I've had a look and I think it's five days they're contagious for, so I'll have it next Tuesday, so hopefully. It's dangerous, isn't it, for people our age to catch it? No, we've already had it. You can't yes. catch it again. You c I think you can. Nah. Yeah, well, our eldest son had it twice. He He had it. When he was three days old, if you remember. Nah. I phoned up the doctors and I said, I think my eldest son, I think my son, uh, has got chicken pox. She said, how old is he? I said, he's three days. She said, there's not a chance. How can you remember that? That's 50 years ago. Robbie's 33. So she said, bring him down. And yes, he'd got chicken pox. And then he had it again when he was about five or six. So what? yes, you can catch <clears> it twice. Why are we talking about chicken pox? I don't know. Our granddaughter's got chicken pox. I'm well, sure she'll be fine. Sure she will. It's just uh, if you get it. Well, what? It goes I'm into not going to get it. It's very dangerous for somebody as old as you are to get chicken pox. Knackered on her. Yeah, I'm tired. I've been... I, I don't... I mean, I haven't moved really today. I went to our local shop. <laughs> That's a shop. shocker, isn't it? It never moves. I went to our local shop, as, as usual, Tesco's. Bought everything that I needed for the uh, the meal, and I made a loaf of bread, which I fermented overnight in the fridge. Oh, that bread is so good. That's the best one you've ever done. The first one was a disaster. It's... I dropped a bit of the first one, and it broke my foot. How rude. How bloody rude. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I've been just busy cooking and trying to tidy up, because we're going away. We were going away tomorrow. Yeah, Friday we're going away now, because... It's We've just, just got too much to do, haven't just we? Just logistics here. Uh, we're going to see. We're going to Blackpool. Not this week. We're not going to Blackpool for a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we will be at Blackpool. <gasps> Around the nineteenth of April, we're yeah. going up to Blackpool. We're going to see Andy the Meatman. We are. But you'll know more about that in another vlog. <laughs> Looking forward to that. I need to book it actually. And because we're not a member of the Caravan and Motor Home Club anymore, it's going to cost us more. How we... much more? I don't know, but it's not worth joining again for £63. <laughs> I, ain't doing that. I know we're not going to use it, so. Yeah. It's yes. only a one off, we use places like that. Yes. So we'll have to get your little bucket in spade. Get some uh, armbands that you're going to see. No, not in this weather. It's she looks gone. lovely in her little armbands. She always wears them when she goes in the bath. Shut up, Robert. Get some little pink flippers. Just to hit you with. My phone keeps going, my watch keeps going. I just put a photo on Instagram. Oh, you did, didn't you? Yeah, I've got some uh, coming up as well, people. I've got an upgrade coming on the motor. <gasps> which I'm dead excited about, which I'll tell you on are. another vlog. But it's not even happening until July, so I don't know why you've mentioned it now. Because I'm excited. Well, I'm excited too. I've got all the stuff, it's just got to be banged up. All the gear? No idea. Yeah. Luckily, we know a man who can. Well, we hope he knows what he's doing. Of course doing. he can. I've only got faith in myself when it comes to working on me bus. And we've I just... I know if I do it, people, it'll be done right. Shut up, Robert. Anyway, that's it. Come oh. on. I need to go. I need to get this video uploaded and the cooking one edited and everything else that I have to do. Before I go to bed. Bloody hell, it's an odd life in it being an old bird. It is, because we've got to start again tomorrow. Yes. Where are we going? The weekend? I think the set here just collapsed. <laughs> Did you hear that? Bing! Oh, and yeah. he moved. On that side. It, it goes down. Actually, the, the lady who won the bike, her husband, sat there when he came and we couldn't get rid of them, remember? Oh, yeah, them, yeah. And... Uh, Paul, his name was. And yeah, I, he's a big bloke, isn't he? Yeah, and I bet he thought, "What is going on with this city?" I, I didn't. I never told him that it's, it's, it's like that. You broke it. 
And he said to me, it's the cushion. Off. You just swap the cushions. Swap the cushions didn't make any difference. You need to have a look at it. Yeah, because this thing's a uh, bed set in. Never been used. I don't think you'd be able to use it now. It's knackered, like me. I've given him a list of jobs as well. Good look at that. Yeah, I know. The one job I only asked him to do 12 months ago. You haven't got to remind them too often, have you? Can you get the shower siliconed, please? Yes, it's on my list of jobs. Jill and Steve, if you're watching this, can you please have, have a word with him next time you walk past? Because they know how bad you are at doing jobs for me. You know, when you get back from work, folks, you're knackered and you don't want to do nothing. That's me, that is. And that's most of the, the rest of the working population. Yeah, but it's been 12 months. Yeah, I know. I have to think about things before I do it. 12 months. Otherwise, I'm going to get somebody in to do it. I'll do it. I'll do it now. So you... As soon as this camera's off, I'll be in there. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> that was straight on my nipple. Happy with that. Go on. Violent little person. <laughs> and he tapped you. <laughs> Stop. What have you got all down your top? Oh, food. Flour. Food. Yeah, so on that note, people. Oh. We all say our farewells. Your tummy's rumbling. You can't be hungry. You've just eaten a, a, shed, load, a shed load of food. You know, I'm just over 17 stone now, folks. Yes, he is. I need to get back on the e-bikes. And you'll be b back on one soon. You're 12, aren't you? 12 stone. No, I'm not. I'm 10 <laughs> stone. I'm ten, you what? 10 stone. No, you're heavier than I'm that. Not, I'm 10 stone 12. Bloody ass is heavier than that. I weighed myself the other day because our daughter weighed herself and she said, you're never going to say how heavy I am, Mum. And I said, how heavy? And she told me. Oh, wait, 10 um, stone? Yeah, okay. she's 10 stone. She's never been 10 stone. She doesn't look 10 stone. Anyway, I weighed myself and I was so happy because I'm only 12 pound heavier. Yeah, but the daughter is three inches taller than no, you. No, she is. That makes a big difference. Mind you, the bloody dog's three inches taller than you. Mavis? Yeah, I was just looking at them. Mavis is fast asleep on top of Dutch on the settee. <sighs> right. Oh, some more good news. We're going to Fairford. We are. You know, the... Bzzz. Yeah, we forgot to tell you ages ago that, uh, yeah, if anybody's booked on to Fairford... Fairford? Fair, 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 Fairford. Fairford, the air show. We're really looking forward to going, aren't we? Yeah, on the pilot. <sighs> I was going to buy an helicopter once, you know. He actually was, during lockdown. <laughs> That's not, how... not a new one, you know, an old... Battered, knackered one. That's how bored he was during lockdown. What can I buy? He was going cheap. Helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> but me and, me and the daughter talked him out of it. For a start, he hates heights. He won't go in a little aeroplane. He's not going to go very high. No, I well, know. He thinks he could just hover around. You know, just a bit above the cars. <laughs> no. Might be a tad illegal. I do have some saft ideas, folks. He does. And he needs me to just keep him... Well, in his place. I'm trying to think how much it was. I think it was... I don't know. I think it was a couple of grand, doesn't it? Wasn't it? No, I can't remember. No engine. <laughs> That'd be fine. You can have one of those. Right, come on, because we've said our fells were farewells I once. think it was a Chinook. It wasn't a bloody Chinook. We get those flying here. A lot. Would you come... If I'd have gone in a helicopter, would Never. you come... Never. I won't go in a boat with you. You think I'm going up there? Seriously, you I wouldn't... I don't like going in a car with you. <laughs> And you know that's true. Mr. Mr. No Patience. Have you finished now? You're looking very pretty Shut today. Up, I'm exhausted. You look like Friar Tuck. Friar Tuck? What's his name? You're more like Friar Tuck than me. <laughs> I love this remote. I should have bought the, bl the big one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't break the remote. All right, folks, on that note, we'll say our farewells. So stay safe for the caravan as the motor home is tend to drift through skies on you. We still love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. The TV's just come on in a bit. <laughs> Get off, you flipping... <laughs> Get off. <laughs> come with glasses. Oh, bugger off. Mm -hmm.